Hey guys, welcome back to another dish of Chili Flavor with your Chili Trouble, aka Mr. Macapo. Today we're doing amazing recipe of curry kongs in coconut milk. It's lambi kongs you're doing. A curry lambi kongs in coconut milk. We're having some dumplings as well. Right? Great combination, top of the line, right? So we're going to share out and make that curry kongs in coconut milk step by step. Right? So stay tuned, let me go and bubble up. Right, so we're here with the cones now, right? We're going on, we're going on start to show you how to, how we just clean these cones. As I say, most of the time, when you buy these cones, it's here, they just cut down and take all the vein from the cones, right? As you got some of the cones here. If you do, if you do, if you do, if you catch it yourself, then you need to cut here, from here come down, and you, take, and you just devein it like a shrimp, and take all the piece I got from here, right? So, that's as you, that's as you, um, Keep on this using a tenderizer if you do have this a rolling pin and let us beat the cones a little bit nice also don't forget not too much of this part but a little bit too much more up here you tenderize the cones and they cook really fast right that's it here we have two there two cut up already done tenderize and cut up here cut in a small nice size pieces like once you tip on my index finger, right? Like that, we cut it right in small little pieces. All right, so we're going to cut up this, season it up, and we're going to show you that curry technique in coconut milk. Right, so here we have one onion, finely chopped, two pimento, finely chopped, half a scotch bonnet pepper, and one full tablespoon of garlic. We add in here half teaspoon of black pepper. We add in one tablespoon of um, sazon tropical, one teaspoon of salt, and we add in two tablespoons of green seasoning. Right? And we want to mix up this. No maggi in this because the maggi going into the curry, right? Alright, so there's one season up here. Right, we have four lamb, four pieces of lamb conks here. And we'll be adding here, we add in a tablespoon of, of green seasoning, right? Right, so we add in some oil here now. One, two, three portions. This portion is smaller. Right, we add in. We add in the pimento, seasoning, onion. Just try it here a bit. And then we add in the garlic. And that's the remainder stuff on it, right? We just hold out the garlic a little bit. So the garlic not just left for the oil to cool down a little bit of still, right? Right, we add in the curry here now. One, two, Three tablespoons of curry. We we'll add two, but because of the coconut milk with the sauce on it, you want to add a little extra curry to accommodate the sauce, right? I add a little tip of saffron. Some of them add some curry, some of them add on. Maybe add in like a, a half tablespoon of amagi. Let us take the time here now and let it bungee down, right? And then we go add the water and chunk in the curry. Right, so what is curry? Keep turning it. We want to fry up a little bit. We want to fry in our oil, patch in our oil, um, to get a nice color and a nice texture. Everything cup curry is something that is should be properly well cooked, right? And remember, this is a mixture of the about the six different curry we use in this. 
the same mixer we're using, right? With six different types of curry in this one container. Mm -hmm. This is about eight minutes here. The curry patch in here nice. I'll be adding That's some hot nice. water. The curry cook down back again. So it's two kind of cooking steps for the curry. So on this part, I'm going to stick to the bottom. I don't need oil in the spoon. So it's sticking here now. The curry stick into the pot. This is only ready for the meat now. Right? The kong strain in. Remember, this is lamb the kong, sir. Let's turn it up here. Yeah, we have water kettle here already. Alright, we're going to put this heat on low now. We need it on low. We just boil it and let go of own water. I need to let go of own water then. Then we'll keep checking. We'll check it after about five minutes. Make sure it's not sticking. If it's sticking, we'll add a little water to it and help it to, to, to release its own water, right? So the heat on low here. Come right down, check back in about five minutes. Okay. It's been about five minutes now. Let go your own water. And curry looking real nice next day now. Perfect color for the curry. Perfect, perfect color. Alright, so let us dry down all the bit here. We'll check the texture of the combs. If the texture is a little hard still, we'll add back some water and then if it, when it gets soft, then we'll add the coconut milk to it and finish it off with that, right? Alright, so that's it here. Stick in here. Perfect, thick, thick, thick texture. To accommodate for the um, to accommodate for the the um coconut milk. And this how this look. So let me taste a piece and see this And I will taste a piece of the hard one to make sure because. So far nice. That's how we tenderize it. Become really, really soft and nice. Perfect. So we have here 350 gram packs of coconut milk. This is the maximum I should be using. This would be really a nice, thick, creamy texture, right? And um, the minimum you could well, the minimum is one pack. You could use how much you comfortable with to use. But three packs will give it that creamy, creamy taste you're looking for. Alright, so you add the three packs, then we add in some. Remember, all this dilute in cold water. It will dilute a lot faster than in hot water. And then you, you wash out your, your bowl or container, whatever, with the, with the hot water after, right? Right? You only have to add to this now, teaspoon of, I mean one teaspoon of salt butter and we are in about a half cup of scythe and that's it and ready to eat with the dumplings. Watch how this look. Really, really nice. Real nice color, perfect color. Not too light, not too dark. All right, so we're going to leave this out five minutes to bubble a little bit here. And then we would add the, um, the, the two ingredients and finish it off. Let me check on so you look in here now. Mm. Right, so it's looking real good. Right? We only leave the um, little extra sauce so the dumplings. The sauce can take a nice. So we don't want to go down too much with the sauce. Right? So we'll turn it off here now. Make sure the final product in the plate with the boiled and fried dumplings. Right? 
Right, so we add in the last two ingredients. This is the golden ring. Um, the salt butter, sorry. And we add some salve here in the frozen one. We just use a little bit remain in the container. So we just add some water. And we should decide to take, right? The reason why we have any dumplings is that different. It's not, it's not the same typical curry you would use. But what I would do, I would do the different curry for dumplings or provisions or whatever may be. Then if you have any rice and dal or rice, right? Is that different finishing type of uh, meat with the coconut milk? So now we will show you the final product in a plate. Yes, guys, final product of the curry comes in coconut milk. You must have having with dumplings. Amazing recipe. Something you need to try is a must. Alright, so like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends, share it with your friends, share it with your family. Quick recipes. Recipes in a quick video. And until our next edition of Trini Flavor, bubble up on it.